Hello, welcome again to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. It is just one day since I uploaded a new video, and I'm back again because I get to take part uh, in the uh, HK5 project. Uh, Isabel, Passionista Colorista, uh, messaged me yesterday, said she had an abandoned uh, picture in Seasons, Tidevarv, and asked if I would take it, and I jumped. <laughs> I was so excited. So, I immediately started. Immediately, without hesitation. And the page, excuse that my daughter's got it in my, the wrong book. Um, so this is the page I've already started. You can see it looks a lot like the robin's egg from yesterday. Um, and that was on purpose. I loved the texture that came out of that so much that I was just like, oh, this would be a perfect background. And so that's what I'm doing. And that's what I'm going to do with you on the uh on the thing today let me see if i can find a way to like clip this down because man this page is just it just pops up so bad i've got my little binder clips here there we go that'll be better i'm really worried about getting in here but i i don't know how far i'm gonna go but we'll see I don't know how much I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of be uh, bouncing back and forth between doing this and doing work. Um, it's going to be another long day for me. And uh, I need this distraction. <laughs> so bad. So I'm going to zoom you in here. Give you the color names that I'm using. Because they're slightly different um, from what I was using on the robin's egg I added I think two colors um, so for the very darkest I'm using the polychromos dark indigo which of course I probably should have sharpened before I moved my desk up to it uh, the next darkest I have is the indanthrene blue And then after that, we're getting into the ones that I was using on the robin's egg. So Prussian blue, cobalt blue greenish, cobalt turquoise, light cobalt turquoise. This has been eaten up by my <laughs> All those marks are from my sharpener. Light cobalt turquoise. And white. Okay, so those are the colors. Um, and as you can see, I'm, I've am i got right in here is where I started. It's pretty much how I want it. Um, it's just a matter of getting the rest of it that way um, I'm trying not to go too dark at the nose because I don't want it to look like you know weird right there um, kind of got a little weird coming out of her neck right there but oh well we'll just go with it I'm gonna be flipping between these colors pretty frequently I like starting either with the Prussian blue or the uh, cobalt blue greenish to like map to do a little like mapping first um, and then kind of build out all the rest of the colors darken as I need to etc so that's kind of how um, I go I'm gonna move this so I can move this up because I want to work right in this area of course I have that so let me move that to right here so I kind of want to work in in this area right now like I said right in here is pretty much done I'm going to 
pull out this. I really want to get to this side so I can just be done with it because really getting in here makes me so nervous. <laughs> so, so nervous. Um, so let's see, I've already mapped with one of those. So let's go in with the cobalt turquoise. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you so much for all of your kind comments on the last video. That's all super sweet and I love you guys. <laughs> love you guys. Love you guys so much. So I'm just doing light circles. Really light circles. Um, as I get the layers on then I have to add some more pressure. But I am not burnishing this page. I can still see, I don't think you guys can see very well, but there you go. I can still see the, the paper through. I'm not, I'm not burnishing. I want that texture. I had to think of the word. Texture's the word, not bird. Bird is not the word, not today. sure I'm still on camera here. My poor youngest, she woke up this morning sick to her stomach in the bathroom. So that was a, a fun wake up. I shouldn't put my arm on there. I'm probably shaking you guys. I'm sorry. So I'm, um, I don't want this big wide open area. Um, as you can see, I don't have a ton of open space so I'm gonna come out and just start right around here and just build up a an area I don't know what I'm gonna do with those black dots yet I don't know what I want to do I might just do white Posca I might do a glitter pen might do a glaze pen. I don't know. So I'm just doing organic shapes. Just letting the pencil and the paper and everything just tell me where it wants to go. Just making amorphous blobs. It's alive! Just little amorphous blobs. And now I'm going to go in with a little bit darker, the Indanthrene Blue. I'm trying to find, I have a little, I don't know if you can see that. It's probably more prominent on this one. The uh, I've got a little like flat spot on all of these and so I try to use that flat spot. So if you see me examining the tip that's what I'm doing. This is a darker blue. I legit have no idea what the rest of this is going to look like. I'm, I'm thinking pink, pinky flowers, purple, pink flowers. But I don't know yet. I haven't decided. So I'm just adding some dark areas. And I do take the dark out into these amorphous sections. But I do like initiating them against something if I can. It's a more natural way of doing that for me. And 
not necessarily everybody and that's okay. I have been bouncing all around like I start in one area and then I spread out and then I'll come back to the area like maybe I think it needs a little more and dantrine blue here I'm, I'm almost at the point where I can't add any more color in this section which is fine I'm not gonna push it and I'm not like I said I'm not burnishing and now in the middle of this blob I'm just gonna put a darkened area and it looks a little funky right now but I promise it will get evened out and blended am I still? yeah I'm still on camera I know a few of you said you, you learned some stuff on the last video and that makes me so happy. I am not a very good teacher, so anytime somebody picks something up that tickles me pink. Uh, I'm going to go to cobalt blue greenish. I'm trying to get that flat side. Now that I've, I've done this in blue, I'm thinking, oh, I could do this in orange, I could do this in red, maybe not red, because I don't have a light. See, that's the, I need a, I need a light color. I'm going to do it in green. What other colors? So you have the, the cobalt turquoise, you can do it in the nice, um, like a more blue blue. You could probably do it in purple with the light magenta. You can totally do it with the yellows. Um, let's see. I bet you could do it with a brown. You could do it with the warm grays and the cool cold grays. Oh, you could do it with these pinkies, the greens, a yellow, like the ochre yellows. I mean really there's a there's a lot you could do it with and you could even go from red to yellow and do this entire spectrum so now that's all in my head and this might dominate my backgrounds for a while which is a-okay I'm okay with that because I have struggled with backgrounds for so long and I, you know, I have the pan pastels, and those work out very nicely. And I have, you know, the mongos, and those work out very nicely. And I have, you know, markers, and I have Copics, and I have, you know, I have Posca paint pens, and I've got all the, the stuff. It's just, I wanted something, this is elegant to me and I have struggled to do elegant backgrounds so this is me doing elegant backgrounds one second all right sorry about that let's see let's get back to it I have another raging headache today We've almost hit where we have mandatory overtime at work. And while I don't I don't mind working and I don't mind working long hours, I do. I do need a mental break on occasion. I've been doing a quality control right now and it makes you question your sanity. Because you're like, I know this is a rule. Why why didn't they do this? Why is this am I wrong? And you start questioning, like, is everything I know a lie? 
because a couple people didn't do it the way you thought it, it was supposed to be done. And so, you, you know, you start, like, questioning yourself, and that's always super fun. And by super fun, I mean not really. I've got some manual entry that's just and documents that are too large to go in our normal review area. So I'm going to switch over to the light cobalt turquoise. I'm going to go around the edges. I don't go over the whole thing with this until I'm, I'm nearing the end, like on here. Uh, that's what I did. I went over the whole thing. Um, some places I pressed harder to really blend out the edges or I wanted to like do a faux connection I don't know about faux but do a connection between two blobby areas really technical over here blobby areas um, that is the technical term for that uh, <laughs> I really don't know what I'm going to do with those dots if you have a suggestion I am all ears for any suggestions anybody may have. Can't promise to implement them. I want that out there, but I may I may take them to heart or tweak it a little bit. And then implement it. near that edge is going to be fun. By fun, I mean not really. I am, for whatever reason, because I can't seem to stop myself looking at the Mitsubishi pencils. Then I figure if I'm going to spend that on Mitsubishi pencils, I should probably get the light fast, but then another part of me is like, girl, would you just enjoy what you got? And I really should. I should just enjoy what I have. So I may get, I may get a different color pen. Like I like the purple, but I think I want another color too, because that is one of my favorite pens right now is the Visconti Breeze. So, I don't know. And really, I shouldn't spend any money because I need new tires, so... See, I just bounce all over. I don't like how this is turning out. I don't know what to do about that. Like, it's all kind of bleh. But I, I don't know what to do. I also don't know what to do with the colors. Like, do I want to do my go to greens do I not I don't know so I'm going to go with some darker stuff I'm going with the Prussian blue and now I'm going to start really darkening these areas Again, just little circles. So maybe that'll look a little better. I hate when I have hair fall down my shirt and then it itches. <sighs> I 
hope you don't mind the quiet, the quiet chatting today. I'm not in the best of mental head spaces at the moment. I was telling my husband last night, I was just like, oh, you know, I'm doing basically two jobs. So I'm doing my job and then I'm also taking care of the kids, which is another job all in itself. I was like, look, I'm, I'm mentally exhausted. He was like, so it's like, I'm just letting you know, I just want that to be out in the open that I have told you. So when I go, really, if I can just get an hour to myself, can I please have that? You know where I'm coming from. So I think he's going to take the girls to the pool this weekend. Assuming Zoe feels better. Poor kid. I was so sad. I didn't realize it. She just came in and she goes, I need a drink of water at like 2 a.m. I'm like, cool, go get a drink of water. <laughs> Why would I tell you no? And then she tells me this morning that she got sick. I was just like, oh. Kiddo, and then she got sick again. It's like, oh. Poor thing. I am not a very with it person. <laughs> if you wake me up from the middle of the night, that's why my husband, uh, we made a deal. Uh, he would get the kids, if they were up any time between the time I went to bed and 4 a.m. And then any time after 4 a.m., I would get them. That seemed to be my... This is uh, dark indigo, if I didn't say. Because 4 a.m. seemed to have been my... I'm okay to function after this point time like if I had to get up for whatever reason I could do it and still function the rest of the day whereas my husband could not but he could fall asleep on a dime so I was like, look, you get the 4 a.m. because you can fall back asleep. I cannot. You okay, kiddo? Okay. Can you turn that down, please? Just a little bit. Thank you. So I don't know if you can tell, but this is a slow process. <laughs> Super slow. All right, I'm going to go back to the cobalt turquoise. Find my happy spot here. And now I'm going to kind of go over it. Some of these blues have a, they're a little on the purplier side and not so much on the greeny side, I think. And that's what I'm going with. Um, and I want to kind of like knock back that. I guess maybe they're more on the reddish side. I don't know. The Andanthrene Blue and the Cobalt or the Dark Indigo are the ones I need to tamp down. 
So I go over with the cobalt turquoise and, and just tamp that down. I'm going to take it out a little bit further than I have been. I start kind of small, but then I, I really build it up. turned my pencil and got a harsh side. Mm. I don't know what to do now. Hold it. Choke it back. It'll be okay. I'll figure it out. And sometimes I connect two blobby areas together. Really, I don't change my pressure too much uh, when going back over these areas. I just keep going over them with the same pressure. And each time, it lays down just a little bit more pigment. So now I'm going to go back to my light cobalt turquoise and now I'm going to start going over all of it because again like the cobalt turquoise, the light cobalt turquoise will drop some of that pigment and um, I guess I want to say neutralize the uh, the darker colors. I know I'm in the shadow, I'm casting a shadow but that's the only way I can comfortably color right there. Just, I'm just using it to tint some of those other colors to kind of get them the shade I want. Again, I'm doing the same thing, just light pressure and going over the same areas to keep depositing more and more pigment. And blend all that together so it's not quite a seamless transition in colors.
but kind of gives that feel. And now this is where the white's going to come in. I want to maintain some sections. And so I'll just go over, and I am using medium pressure um, because I do want to maintain some white areas. Okay, my, uh, my oldest is trying to earn something, so I had to go check her room. She's cleaning. So I'm going to go back with the light cobalt turquoise. I don't know that I need any more dark in there. Work calls. Yeah, work is never done. All right. Where was I? I don't remember. I don't remember. So yeah, I'm kind of... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for some other... I like... I like... I like... <laughs> I really like the colors I usually use for leaves. Um, but I don't know that I want to do that this time. And I may actually leave the leaves for last so I can really get a good feel for... like the color palette I'm ending up with. So we we shall see. Because I don't have a color palette in mind. I should probably look one up. I have a ton saved to my um, my Pinterest boards. Let's see. So I have like coloring pages that I like looking at, I have color inspiration. Then I should have, I thought I had another one that was Maybe it's just color inspiration. So I have like, oh, look at that. That's like the colors. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Can I pick a different world than the dinosaur world that's still $5? Yes. Basically anything that's $5, right? Find something you like and we'll discuss. Sorry about that. So, like, I have all this stuff on Pinterest that I save. Like, I really like these groupings. Um, yes, honey. You're not done with that picture. There's still a whole lot of white space. You don't have to finish it right now, honey. I mean, no, I'm never good at doing, oh, look at that. See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. I'm going to do like the really, the bright greens, and then go into like the emerald and the light green. And the grass green and go into those. I think this is it. I think this is my inspiration. The purples, purple, lilac. So all the purples. For a good, oh man. I'm gonna have to pull out the uh, luminance too for that ultramarine violet. Yep. That's, that's what I'm doing. That's my inspiration. So that's what I do. So 
I go on Pinterest and I look for these cool like group pictures that have like they give you so much inspiration I mean just look at that yes yes please cool knock that out of the park do a happy dance uh, cobalt blue greenish I'm excited. I hope you are too. What's up, kiddo? You gotta you gotta think about what you want and take your time to figure it out. I don't want her to regret her Minecraft purchase gonna buy a world and she went for the millionaire one after just wanting the dinosaur one for three days so I'm gonna try to finish off this section for you guys so you can see I mean would say so you can see how it looks when it's done but I keep going back into all these other places <laughs> it'll probably never be done until I put these pencils away all right purchase made she's now the proud owner of a jungle world I'll try to get this section to where I'm happy with it. I'll still mess with it. Like you see, I still keep going other places. all the circles even though I put white down it's not preventing me from putting this turquoise over top of it it just gives it a little extra barrier so I'm not putting nearly as much down I'm going to leave this section kind of unfinished just because I need to work more that way. I don't know how long it'll take me to finish this uh, background. I mean, this is just one little over 
two or three hours. I watched uh, Belinda's stream while doing this. And I had started just before that. So most of this was during Belinda's stream last night. I left it a little early because I was tired and wanted to go to bed. I don't know, I may just leave the little black dots as they are. I mean, they are what they are. Or I could just do purple glitter pen. I do purple glitter pen. I don't think I have a good turquoise glitter pen. I don't think. I've got the green, and then I've got a blue. I don't think I've got a turquoise. Oh well. I think I'm going to call that section done. And go back with the white a little bit. And go kind of into the blobbies. Just to soften a little bit. The polychromos white doesn't do a whole lot of pigment lay down. It's more of a blending type thing but it does it does help to tone down some of the color so like I feel like I've got a bit of a harsh line here so I'm trying to tone it tone it down turn it down so I'm pretty pretty pleased with right here I think that's gonna be it um, not my usual hour long, about 40 minutes, but that's okay. Um, I will be back, hopefully, with more of this. Um, probably not until next week, though. I will see you guys in some streams. Um, links for this book in the U.S. version will be down below, as well as Polychromos and affiliate links and blah, 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 blah. Um, if you want me to link my... Well, I may just link my Pinterest anyway, and then y'all can y'all can go through my boards, especially my coloring inspiration boards, um, and you guys can check that out. So I'll link that as well. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, weekend, whatever. Whenever you're watching this, have a great rest of the whatever. Let me zoom out here. Mommy? Yes, pumpkin pie. Um, can you get me some more um, feel better crackers? I absolutely can. I'll be right there. And on that note, I will see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs>